in their YouTube, The Nitro Addiction. And this lovely beast, I don't know, some of you might have seen my video from a couple years back. I rebuilt this for a buddy. Uh, and about 1500 bucks we put into this. Some of it was used like this engine we found. Um, I, that engine might have come with it. I don't remember. I think it did. But uh, we got all new exhaust stuff. I think those are GPM shocks and shock towers. It's got a real stiff suspension in it. RPM all the way around on the arms. Top and bottom. Um, purple RPM skid plate. He wanted a purple thing. Uh, tried to find purple springs, but uh, couldn't find the color that he wanted. Robinson Racing Spur and Bell Gear. Uh, I think it is a 13 or 14 tooth. I don't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure it's a 47 on the spur. Um, yeah, he had issues with it and wanted me to fix it up for him. One pool, uh, the uh, one way bearing was slipping on the pull start. So I uh, cleaned that up real good. I'm gonna see if it if it'll let me start it. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, he's also got a T-bone racing front bumper. He talked about getting the wheelie bar for it, but hasn't done it yet. And here we got the Proline trenchers. These are the big ones. What are they? The three three point eight, I think, is what they are. Not 100% sure. But anyways, um, it's got a think that motor mount inside of there possibly into G not a hundred percent sure that purple um, this was an old uh, had the red body on I think it was a savage it was a first gen savage X so I, I'm not hundred percent sure on the history of these but I think it was like the first gen X series come with uh, with these I, again I could be wrong into G I know he knows Vintage soft weak aluminum. It was just for the color, uh, a little bit of protection. So, but anyways, don't know for sure how it's gonna run. Haven't fired this thing up in forever. Oh, motor savers, air filter. It's got uh, Savox waterproof servos. What is that? A uh, 60. I can't see the numbers on it. HS645WP. And then down here, I think, is running, yeah, 1271. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is. It's a 1271, I promise. So, found this uh, Savage 21 body, again, just because it had the purple theme to it. He liked the way it looked. Uh, not many of those out there left, but we did find that on eBay. So, hopefully, we can get this thing to fire up and uh rip around this little field out here so hoping to have some fun with it all right so bear with me while i try to get it started i may have to do a little tuning on it so if it ends up taking me a while i'll probably just skip to the good stuff so all right let's turn it on of course noisy savox running a uh lipo battery I like his uh, throttle deal in here, that plastic's getting wore out. Hoping we can get full throttle out of it. May not quite be full throttle, but we're gonna try.
man, this truck's a little badass. I need to adjust that throttle linkage, though. It's a wheeling machine. He'll be happy that it's running like it is, so. I'm gonna get the body on it so I don't tear it up and uh, get some more fuel in it and uh, we're gonna get right back at it. <laughs> yeah, I need to fix that throttle link because I can't keep the, uh... Yeah, I just need to adjust it a little. So, for people that are new, Learning about the throttle linkage. See this right here? Where it attaches to the carburetor. So I'm holding the brake. When I let go of the brake, see how it opens up? So, you always gotta watch out for that. Make sure you have this piece adjusted properly. I have to unscrew it so it pushes that in when it's in the neutral position. So, I'll be right back. Truck is a beast. Trenches don't turn very sharp either. <laughs> Big old plus tires give a little bit of bounce, <laughs> keeps those wheelies going. I think it's got the three speed in it. Probably not gonna hear it change today though. Lost the damn screw to the lost the screw to the rear end.
Now that we blew up the diff. Okay, I think we lost the, uh, what is it, the ring and pinion gear? I think we chipped the teeth on one of those. Because, uh, I don't know if you can see right there at the end, but the front end was, was uh, pulling, the rear end was not. So anyways, well, short-lived. But, uh, yeah, there's always been problems with uh, the stock HPI diffs. But I tell you what, because I've done it on my XL, and I haven't blown a diff up since. If you fill that rear end uh, diff up with, I think I put in 20,000. I mean, the more the better. You know, the higher the number, the better. But uh, I think I put 20,000 in it. And uh, I think 20,000, right? And I haven't blown a diff up yet. I don't think we ever took this uh, apart and filled it with, with diff oil. So that's something I'm gonna need to do. That's um, just got too much power. And then these big giant wheels. But anyways, so, for all you savage lovers out there, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.